Hello, my friends. Shalom and peace unto Jerusalem, but not false peace. The peace that's talked about for us to pray in Scripture, the peace of repented hearts and the understanding that will be brought to when there is repentance and a return unto the law of the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But beware that you don't find yourself caught up in the lie now and betraying the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob with false sympathies. Be careful that you, right now, don't find yourself supporting the false peace agreements that are being pushed by the UN and the presidents of the United States since Clinton, Bush, and now with Obama. They are all trying to push Israel into peace agreements, giving up their land, giving up and betraying the covenant established forever by the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The right of people do not have to give over. A will of El Shaddai that was not to be given over to the heathen, but for his people to keep forever. Do not have false sympathies. This is not the peace. Do not find yourself taking the side of the enemy. Israel has to defend itself in its land. Look at the testimony of the six-day war, six days of fighting against three great Arab nations with great strength and the land of Israel, reestablished in one day overnight as the prophecy said. In six days defeated all their enemies and rested on the seventh because the hand of El Shaddai was with them. Now he calls them as a people to obey His law and His commandments. Not the Talmudic teachings of the rabbis and the Pharisees that are leading the hearts of the people astray. But the law written through the prophet Moshe. The law of El Shaddai written in the Torah and His prophets and the teachings of the Messiah, Yeshua. That the 